Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to an all-new Marvel-related video here on HN Entertainment. With the Black Widow trailer releasing on social media, tons of people have begun their hype trains over characters such as Red Guardian and Taskmaster. Besides those posts about people's excitement to see certain characters are questions about the film's setting. This is because Natasha Romanoff sacrificed herself to obtain the Soul Stone during Avengers Endgame making this film a prequel. Marvel has played coy with the primary time frame of this film, so in this editorial feature, we'll explore possibilities based on what we know so far. We'll also explore how this film can connect to Black Widow, and how she appeared in Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Starting off with the film's primary time period, the most likely option is for the movie to take place in between Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War. When watching the trailer, the first 30 seconds introduced uses Natasha trying to blend in as if she's hiding or running from something. We also see her visit a safe house where she has multiple fake IDs and passports, which makes sense both as an ex-SHIELD agent and former KGB operative. You could base her hairstyle as well to being somewhat similar to her Civil War hairstyle, although hairstyles change all of the time. The strongest arguments can be made for the film to take place not only in between Civil War and Infinity War, but immediately after Civil War. This is due to the film ending off with Natasha on the run due to Black Panther alerting Secretary Ross that she assisted Steve Rogers in escaping. From this point, it's known that Natasha was off the grid for several months before reconnecting with Steve Rogers and Sam Wilson. These few months are most likely when the Black Widow movie takes place chronologically, although we may receive flashbacks to events further back. A question that's not very important but does hold tons of curiosity is why Black Widow's appearance was drastically changed for Infinity War. According to recent theories, this is due to the appearance of Yelena Belova, who appears in Black Widow, another graduate of the Black Widow program. She's described as a morally gray character, more willing to assassinate her targets than Natasha, yet just as skilled in espionage and martial arts. Portrayed by by Florence Pugh, she has blonde hair and sports a jacket fans noticed Natasha wore in Avengers Infinity War. Due to these similarities, speculations have come out that Natasha will take Yelena's identity for unknown reasons. So while they do share similar outfits, it's believed that's because she receives a suit upgrade in the Black Widow movie, likely stealing their latest attire upgrade. And with that guys, I'm going to bring this video to a close, so don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to HN Entertainment so that way you can stay updated on all things Marvel and pop culture. Again, my name is Luke and I'll see you guys in the next video.